Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungo back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungo, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day so if there's something that you guys want us to react to let us know by dropping a link in the comment section below and we'll do it for you we've got a second youtube channel called funny and just see 2.0 you guys can hit the subscribe and enjoy our um weekly content we've got a podcast called diving in with funny and just see and you have some amazing 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 conversations which you guys don't want to miss you can find us on itunes spotify Podbean, this channel, or our second YouTube channel for the visual. We've got a Patreon, and you guys can feel free to become members and will appreciate. We are very grateful to everyone that has subscribed to our channel. Thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting. Everything that you guys are doing is, uh, is um, what can I say, is very nice of you, and is very nice, and we appreciate. I hope you guys are doing all right, and may you stay blessed. So today I'm going to be reacting to why is not the original and our directed in jail in jail which was revealed to jesus present today so without wasting time let's get into the video the next question if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the injil and the torah before the quran was revealed why don't we find any copies of the original unchanged and unadulterated injil which was revealed to Jesus, peace be upon him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Rad, chapter number 13, verse number 38, in kitab, for each period we have sent a book. By name, four revelations are mentioned in the glorious Quran. The Torah, the Zabur, the Injil, and the Quran. The Torah was the Wahid, the revelation that was given to Moses, peace be upon him. The Zabur was the Wahid, the revelation that was given to David, peace be upon him. The Injil was the Wahid, the revelation that was given to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. And the Quran is the last and final revelation that was given to the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. By name, four revelations are mentioned in the glorious Quran. But there are several other revelations, for example, Suhuf Ibrahim, the scrolls of Prophet Ibrahim. May Allah be pleased with him. But all the revelations before the last and final revelation, the glorious Quran, they were only meant for their people and for that time. But since the glorious Quran, it is the last and final revelation. It was not meant only for the Muslims or only for the Arabs, but it is meant for the whole of humanity. And the reason these scriptures, they were not preserved is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not find it fit to preserve them. And they were time bound. They were only meant for those people and for that time. And through the passage of time, these scriptures, they were changed. And the messengers, the prophets who were sent at that time with those revelations, they were only meant for those people. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Ali Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 49, وَرَسُولًا إِلَى بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلِ And a messenger to the children of Israel. Talking about Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, that he was only meant and he was sent for the children of Israel. But since... The glorious Quran, it is the last and final revelation. It was not meant only for the Muslims or only for the Arabs, but it was meant for the whole of humanity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Ibrahim, chapter number 14, verse number 1, that the book is revealed to thee in order to lead mankind from the depths of darkness into light. A similar message is repeated, is mentioned in Surah Ibrahim, chapter number 14, verse number 52. Here is a message. Let them take warning thereof. Let them know that there is one God. Let men of understanding take heed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says in Surah Baqarah chapter number 2 verse number 185. Ramadan is the month in which the glorious Quran was revealed as a guidance for the whole of humanity. And a similar message is also mentioned in Surah Zumur chapter number 39, verse number 41, that the glorious Quran is meant for the whole of humanity. The glorious Quran is not meant only for the Muslims, or only for the Arabs. It is meant for the whole of humanity. It is a guidance for the whole of humanity. 
and Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. He was not sent only for the Muslims or only for the Arabs, but he was sent for the whole of humanity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Anbiya, chapter number 21, verse number 107, وَمَا إِلَّا رَحْمَةَ الْعَالَمِينَ That we have sent thee not, but as a mercy to all the worlds, as a mercy to all the creatures, as a mercy to the whole of humanity. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, he was not sent only for the Muslims or only for the Arabs, but he was sent for the whole of humanity. What does Inju actually mean? I mean, I could stop the video and just go again, but then I'm just asking. Because he didn't say Bible, he said Inju. So I'm just wondering what that is. And the Torah still exists though. So does it mean, since it was for the people then, is anyone out there that has that has actually taken the time out there to maybe look at what's written in the Torah. I just like to hear from someone who has and what they think about it and would appreciate your response. Let me know what you think about this video. If you've got contributions, feel free to comment. Um, always glad to read your responses. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.